What's up everybody and today I'm going to be looking at the Nexus 4 wireless charger and is now finally available. We saw this at the launch presentation of the Nexus 4 and we were all wondering where it was but now it's finally available to buy in the Play Store. It is $60 but with shipping, handling and tax it does kind of put it in a pricey range but most QI or Qi wireless chargers are pretty expensive on the market today and this is made by Google and LG fit for the Nexus 4 wireless charger. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it and review it for you today. And I'm gonna give you a little look at the box here. It just has some different languages and it is packaged in a pretty awesome box. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and unbox it. So I've already cut the seal on the bottom of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and see what comes in the box. So let's go ahead and pull the contents out of the box. And I can feel something on the bottom here. And of course, there is your quick start guide and your limited warranty stuff. But of course, nobody ever is going to read this. So we're just going to throw this to the side. And it does come packaged with a micro USB to USB, which is pretty cool. And we'll talk about the differences of that later on in this video. But it's good that it comes with a USB standard charging. And here comes a oddly kind of shaped wall plug here. And it does have the LG symbol on it. So kind of cool. We'll throw it to the side. So let's talk about the star of the show here, which is the wireless charging station or orb, as we would call it. And you can see it's a circular shape. Very, very cool design. It does take the Q from the Nexus Q. And it's definitely smaller than the Nexus Q, but the design of it definitely looks like a very small Nexus Q. So let's go ahead and pull the plastic off of it. And you will see the circular patterns there, which is used for grip, especially in the middle there, and has a nice Nexus logo right in the middle. Very cool looking and very well designed. So let's go ahead and take a further look at this wireless charging station or orb for the Nexus 4. If you didn't know, the Nexus 4 does come with the wireless contacts already built in. No cases or anything needed, so you just lay the phone right on the charging station. Very cool. Now, wireless charging is not new to the mobile game, for you know that the Palm Touchstone brought wireless charging to the Pre and Pixie. Mateus did work on WebOS, so you can definitely see the influences of this Touchstone dock to the wireless charger on the Nexus 4. So let's take a look at some of the hardware here. And it is really, really well built. And you would think, ah, it's just a charging dock, but they definitely looked at the details here. And you can see that the grippy ring that's on the bottom, and you can see the cutout here for the micro USB. And it's got a nice soft touch texture to the outside. And you can see here that you have dual rings here on the inside with that nice Nexus logo. And it definitely feels hefty in the hand as well. It feels really good. And what's awesome about it is that most other QI chargers do require DC charging ports where this one is definitely different. And let me show you how. The Nexus 4 wireless charger uses the same micro USB to USB that you would find on a regular charger, which has a lot of advantages because if you were to lose the charging brick or things like that, then you wouldn't really have to worry about it for you could go ahead and charge it off of the regular micro USB to USB connection. And the big advantage here I can see is you can charge it right onto your computer. Right there is a MacBook Pro plugged into the USB socket and it is charging just fine. I think that's a huge advantage to this wireless charger. There's really no installation or anything. You just take the micro USB side and go ahead and stick it right into that port that's on the back of the charger. And you go ahead and plug in the power source on the other side and now you're ready to go. Very simple. Let's listen to the Android 4.2 sound that they put for wireless charging. Very cool sound. I know it's something simple, but I like the little touches that they put into it to make a new sound for this wireless charger. So very cool, very grippy as well. As you can see, I'm just throwing it right on there. And it's not going anywhere. You can lay to the side if you want to, the opposite side if you want to. This thing holds grip very, very well. And I really like that it won't really come off of there. Yeah, you can put it upside down if you want to. You can be silly like that if you want, and it will charge that way. But who really would want to do that? I don't know. But 
it's not strong enough to maybe pull it up when it's face down. Of course, it's not meant for this application. I know comments will probably blow up on that. But you can see right here that it's, even if you tap it off of there or you shake it up, it's really on there, which is good. So I'm glad the design is really good on that. And you don't have to worry about your phone falling off at all. It's not slippery at all. And it looks very good doing it too. So very cool. And it's propped up at an angle so you can you know, do whatever you need to do and kind of touch the screen if you want to. But a lot of people were wondering what it fits like. Official bumper, no problem. Here on the Poetic Borderline case, though, I did run into a little bit of a problem with it. And you can see that the grip is definitely not as good. See it slipping off of there? You have to put it on there just right for it to charge. And I was coming to a lot of problems with that. And you'll probably be dealing with it slipping off. So Poetic Borderline case, not that good. You'll be dealing with this a lot. See that? It just kind of comes in and out of charge. Not good. So what about TPU cases since it covers up the entire back and it's a little bit thicker usually? This is the Androidify case by Cruiserlite and there is no problem with the charging at all. The one downside is that the charging dock does get kind of dirty. It collects a lot of dust. It's kind of hard to clean since it's kind of sticky. So be ready for that. But... Here, you can really see that they put a lot of time into the design here, and I think this is one of the nicest wireless chargers you can get. I mean, it should be, since it's made by LG and Google. So you can see that the nice lines, it's really, really built well. It's built like a tank, and I think this is the one if you really want wireless charging. There are other choices out there, and you've seen some of my videos. If you have, you can see that Nokia makes some too as well, but I think that this is a good official charger. Now, you can always just use your regular charger and save yourself 60 bucks. So, what do you guys think? Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and make sure you watch all of my other videos, including my full Nexus 4 review. So, what do you guys think? Would you pay 60 bucks for it? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.